Mm-hmm. Yes, ladies, this is this is our way of beginning our sacred dive into ourselves and really uniting, you know, heart, mind, body, pussy, every part of ourselves inhabiting all parts of our bodies. I've noticed in in the work that I've been sharing for almost a decade, I noticed that there's a lot of gap when it comes to discussing the pussy. You know, it's like something that we pass over. We try to use every single word we can, like uh, pelvis, belly, uh, the highest part of your thigh. <laughs> like just anything that we can say to avoid um, speaking about and owning our pussy. So um, that's why I feel really excited to be here today. Okay, this class really started with a morning of exploration with myself you know, with getting to know like ways like I'm like, oh, I always talk about dancing from your pussy. We move from our pussy. But like, what about actually like having ways to strengthen the connection to our pussies? Like, is there a way that we can actually make this a practice? And slowly but surely that that intention started to pour out into moves that I started to actually do that were bringing me closer to myself through my pussy you know, through being more connected and and getting to know not only my pussy, but the surrounding muscles, you know, that are there. There's so much. It's just such a dynamic network um, that I was realizing that, my goodness, it's so untapped, unexplored and untouched. Quickly, a little story too about Ignita here. What I noticed, like the first time I was introduced to my muscles surrounding my pussy was I was on a motorcycle ride, okay? I was on the back of a motorcycle ride. I was going through the town. And after I got off, I was like, what is this pain in my pelvis? Like literally the next day I couldn't walk. And I didn't realize that I was holding on. Firstly, I was afraid of letting go of that control of being on the back of this motorcycle and not driving. You know, who can relate to this? Like of not being in control. Like I wasn't the one driving. I was sitting on the back and I was having to trust this man who was bringing us somewhere. You know, so my body started to tense up my pussy, literally muscles, everything. I was clenching. I was holding on. And by the end of the night, I couldn't walk because that tension was so numbing. It was like I was cutting myself off from all feeling from all aliveness, from being able to enjoy the ride, you know, and I didn't realize how much that was connected to my life. You know, I was holding on so tightly, you know, that I didn't even know that I was stopping myself from enjoying the ride. So that was the first time I even knew that there were muscles down there. I didn't even know there was muscles going, pointing down, leading all the way down the pussy. I didn't even know. All I know is I couldn't walk. You know, and I went to go get massages and, and, and to get help to release this area. And every masseuse that I went to, they were like, okay, so the, the, uh, the I, um, this area, they were uncomfortable. They couldn't even help me. They couldn't even help me because they were uncomfortable with even going close to the area. So it really speaks to this separation and this like taboo-ness you know, around the pussy, but guess what? It's part of our body. It's part of all of us, you know? And when we ignore that, it's like this separation, it's like this shame. And then, you know, we no longer have access to this wonderful vessel that helps us heal our aliveness, that gives birth to creation here in this planet, in this earth, you know? So this is why the principles of Ignita are about building the muscles around your pussy, the supporting muscles around your pelvis, because how it works with muscles, you know, I've been working with muscles all my life, you know, when your muscle is weak, it tightens because it's afraid. You know, if you were to think of like um, using something or, or trauma, something happens that's shocking for the first time, it's like a ah kind of like reaction, right? It's like a tightening, ah, right? So that happens with the pussy too, right? When it's not strengthened, it's not, you're not aware of it. You're not in tune with it. The first time you go use it, you're like, yeah. And it's like, 
ooh, tense, right? And then you're walking around the world like, hey guys, tight. We don't even know because it's like your normal way of being. You don't even realize that like you've been walking with your shoulders like this for so long. Same with pussy. You're walking with your pussy all tight everywhere and you realize why you're not feeling love. You realize you're not able to pour your creation into everything you do. You realize your life isn't as juicy, it isn't as enjoyable. See how my shoulders are coming down the more I'm aware and it's like, just like, you start to realize that the key to having that light, that lit up, juicy, enlivened life is connected obviously to our pussy as well, but being more aware of ourselves and our bodies and strengthening that connection. And that allows you to relax, you know? That allows you to own and hone that power. So that's what Anita is about. 